All right, what is up, guys? Today I want to do a quick little video on my networking with uh, Grandame 2 and how I use Grandame 2 with other programs such as Resolume Arena and uh, Pangolin Beyond and really any other program that can be used with uh, lighting software. So, yeah, I'll just kind of get straight into uh, my networking settings and uh, why I have them set up the way I do. So for MA Network Control, I do a lot of gigs with on PC. Uh, also do a lot of gigs with uh, consoles as well, but lately it's been mostly on PC stuff. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, I should explain that. So I don't really worry too much about my master IP uh, unless I start having issues. Lately, I haven't really had a lot of those, which is nice. Uh, but in my network protocols, I'll usually use... Uh, I'll just have set up and output broadcasting and uh, have that in a higher universe, uh, higher than any of my universes I'd be using, or just out of the way more so. And then I'll also have an input uh, just in case I have anything I want to input into uh, Granime, like from Resolume, if I'm wanting to take care of uh, pixel mapping and doing color values from Resolume and throwing those into Granime or something. Then I'll also use the output broadcast for uh, stuff like uh, triggering video files from MA in Resolume or uh, triggering laser cues from MA into uh, Pangolin. Uh, so yeah, we'll go into protocols and go SACN. And this is where I'll be outputting to my actual fixtures or nodes that will be outputting to the fixtures. So I'll do output multicast and uh, start at one amount, just however many, more than however many I would actually need to be using. So yeah. <coughs> I'll go into how that actually works really quick. I actually have a little diagram. So unicasting will be going from one host to one destination within an IP range. So let's say we have like this guy is at 2.0.0.1, and this is dot two, dot three, dot four, dot five, all in that 2.0.0 range. And let's say I only want to send to this guy right here. So let's pretend that I am in the uh, 2.0.0.1 range, and we're going to output unicast to that 2.0.0.2. But so yeah, we we're already in there, but I'll do it again. So yeah, that I'll send just to that IP, just to that destination IP. So now, let's say that I want to do the same, but now I want to broadcast. So I want to go to everything within that IP range, being able to obtain that same information. Well, then I would use broadcast. Let's say this is two, dot one, dot two, dot three, dot four, dot five, dot six. Well, all I'd have to do there is go to output broadcast rather than unicast. And then there is no, it's a blacked out destination IP because uh, it is going to send everything within that IP range, which uh, I'm in ArtNet, so it would be the uh, two dot range. All right, and that's where, uh, that's where a lot of the time I would, if I'm running into issues, I would be going up here and change my master IP and end my session change my master IP to, well, I guess it's not up here right now, uh, but I would usually have a uh, a little USB dongle that would change it to uh, the two dot range. And yeah, so if we go back in here, create my session again, and go back to network protocols, then yeah, we have broadcast. And we have unicast, both taken care of. We know how both of those work. So now let's go to SACN, where we'd be dealing with multicast. We can also unicast from SACN, but I want to multicast. And what multicasting does is it takes us from any range, since we're in the two-dot range, uh, we are going to be purple here. And let's say that this is in the t uh, let's say this is in the 192.168.0 range. And uh, then say this is also in that range. Maybe this is in another range. Well, these things are all going to be reading as a CN. Uh, 
and I'll be sending from the two dot range, well, we can use multicasting to actually send from our two dot range to that 192 range, if that makes sense. So it can send from this host, which is us in the two dot range, to many services, which is the 192.168.0 range that we would be sending to. And uh, yeah, I can just show a little uh, diagram on how that's actually useful, why I actually use those network settings. And don't really worry about this uh, secondary IP. Uh, this is usually just something I use if I am running into issues where I would set up a secondary IP and just plug straight into that. But usually I would set up my MA laptop to be in my primary IP, which is 2.0.0 range, and with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0. Now I go over to my Pangolin laptop, and, uh, and I mean, this is all, like, I mean, you can do it with whatever software you're trying to use for this. I'm just using these as real-world examples. And uh, this is in the 2. Dot range as well, at dot .4, with the same subnet mask at 255.0.0.0. And then we would also have this computer in the 2.0.0.3, and then same subnet. Uh, so yeah, then we'd have all of those connected on a switch. They'd all be talking to each other because they'd be in the same network. And then we go up to our uh, our node that's outputting or inputting SACN, outputting DMX. So we'd be sending SAC in to the 192.168.0.1 range and making sure that it has a 255.255.255.0 net or subnet mask. Uh, and why we're doing that is so that we can multicast to it. So we'd be sending from our uh our MA laptop and we'd be outputting SAC in and that would be going out to this guy which can receive that signal because it is multicasted so now out of here we just have a uh, dmx line going to our lights and we could also go from this through or even directly out of the network switch to this light as it's a uh, this is a airton perseo so that can actually receive as a cn in but for the sake of this, we're going to use a more realistic example to how I would be doing this. And uh, I would just be going DMX straight in because I can easy chain and not really have to worry too much about the uh, network getting, uh, you know, filled up or whatever. Uh, kind of unrealistic, but uh, I have run into situations where I'd be networking my lighting fixtures and I've seen really no difference so I just stick to copper as much as possible uh, but alternatively we would have our pangolin laptop also in here which would be sending to our laser which is in the IP range of that artnet IP range that we've been using for everything else and a lot of these lasers nowadays auto scan IP so it would just be reading from the uh, FE3 controller anyways, whatever that's connected to, and whatever is using angle and beyond. Uh, so yeah, that's really the most uh, real-world uh, scenario that I can think of that I use these uh, network protocols for. And uh, the most real-world example of divvying up uh, multicast and unicast broadcast all that kind of stuff. So yeah, hopefully this video makes things make a little more sense and understandable why I would be uh, using SACN and ArtNet together. And uh, yeah, hopefully that helps. Uh, if it doesn't, just leave a comment. Hopefully I can answer your questions and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.